Campbell to say hello as well. She's a superstar. Yes, please, Valerie. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> well, I, you know, I want to thank you again for allowing me the time to speak with you and for allowing your expertise to grace our radio waves. Uh, we have so many talents out there who really would like to get in touch with you, and some of them, unfortunately, are unable to get to New York, but this is a way for them to find out from an expert on how to succeed in the acting field. So thank you so much. Oh, you have people actually want to ask questions? Well, no, this is a pre-recorded show, but uh, when we do air, we end up having um, individuals who chat, like the questions pop up on our, on our internet, on our website. So oh, okay. if you have the time when it airs, you'll be able to answer any questions that they have for you. I'd be happy to. Great. Well, um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty familiar with who you are, and I've been following you for quite some time, courtesy of, of course, <laughs> And uh, you are a well-renowned acting coach, writer, act extraordinaire. Am I saying all of that correctly? Yeah, I mean, firstly, I, I am a playwright. I mean, I've, I've been an actor since 1977. I, I am not fa- I'm not a famous actor. I, I am known more for my um, writing as a playwright. I've written uh, 22 plays. Um, I guess 12 of them with, with, with uh, successes. Um, few of them have become um, movies and uh, a few of them options for film. But okay. Um, okay. I'm a playwright first and then uh, an actor, then acting teacher. I, I teach because I, I love to help others. Um, okay. I've come from and taught from some of the most famous um, acting teachers in our lifetime. I probably studied with about 20 um, or more acting teachers when, I, when you put them all together. Um, some of the names um, you may or may not heard of, uh, Lee Strasberg, um, Uta Hagen, Herbert Berghoff, um, William Hickey, who, who probably is my favorite, um, and Ann Jackson, Carol Rosenfeld, the list of Joe Daly, and the list goes on and on and on and on. I mean, I may not be a, a percentage of what they are or were or ever will be, but, you know, I'm a tremendous portal of information that any actor could, couldn't gain from, from that. So, uh, now, yeah. 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 Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, I, you know, you're speaking on where you are and who you've been with. You, just like so many others out there, you were bitten by the acting bug. And yeah. if you could, that story of how it happened is just so wonderful. Um, if you could, just give them a little taste of when that happened to you and who it was that inspired you. Um, the reason, what got me into the acting bug is, um, you know, as a young kid, it had to be, I don't know, in the 70s, I was, um, my friends and I snuck into uh, Cross Bay Movie Theater. Like every half the theater was peak, the kids that snuck in. Um, okay. And okay. We, we were watching um, Al Pacino. It was on Cross Bay Boulevard in Ozone Park. And half we were watching um, Al Pacino in Dog Day Afternoon. And, uh, you know, he had one of his um, Al Pacino moments. And, and, and the, whole, the whole theater started, you know, 
you, you, Al Pacino was still new at that time. He may have done a few movies, but, um, you know, everybody was like, wow. And then all of a sudden, you know, young, we would hang out in the city. We would take the train, and my friends and I would, would hang out in the city. But we were traveling on uh, 9th Avenue in the 40s, and my friends and I, um, we saw Al Pacino on 9th Avenue, and we basically stalked him. We <laughs> were following him. Not, not we weren't, like, stalking him. Yeah, we were. Because we just, like, last, the week before saw him in, in, in Dog Day Afternoon. So it turns out that we, we followed him all the way to this building that looked like a library or a bank, and it turned out to be the actor studio. So this is where we were like, wow. To me, this is where actors go to learn. So that was the, the seed that was planted. You know, two years later, bam, um, Lee Strasberg. And that's where I began. Now, and uh, uh, I've never looked back. Okay. okay. Um, the, 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 now that you are... I, I read your, your bio, and I wanted more, to tell you the truth. Like long, right? It was very long. No, I wanted more. I wanted more. Because, you know, there are so many people who want to get into acting, and they're afraid. Then you have individuals who want to be stars, but they don't want to put in the work to become an actor, to become a star. And you know, I think that you... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, you know, it's good that you brought that up. A lot of people, they want to become stars, but it's more than just becoming a star. There's a lot of work. I mean, all those people you see on television and in the movies, on, on stage, they put in years and years and years of, of, of work and sacrificed a lot to get where they are. Um, mm -hmm. is very few you know, just walked right up there and became stars. Very few, very little, tiny amount, you know, it was handed to them. But most of them, you know, they, they sweat blood and tears to get, you know, where they, they starved as, as people, they sacrificed everything to get where they are. Right. You know, right. I mean, people don't see that. Um, you have to put in the work. You know, like I get into interviews and, and someone says, you say, they talk about, you know, so tell me, what do you do when you get a headshot? I don't even, I don't even want to talk about those kind of actors that, you know, that get headshots. I want to talk about the real actors, the, the, the actors mm -hmm. that really want to learn the craft. Those are the right. actors that I, I want to talk about. Those are, those are the actors that are in my class. Sure, the business right. is important, yeah. knowing your type and who you are and all that stuff, yada, 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 yada. The headshots are important, and we do all for that. But, you know, most importantly... Um, I teach the craft of acting, what it takes right. to, to, right. to be an actor and, and sustain yourself in the craft as well as the business. Sure, a headshot is important, and, and um, you know, uh, uh, you're having that look and type is important, but it's your professionalism and, and an understanding of the craft and, and, and hard work that, that will keep you there for, for myself 30, for over 33 years. So, you know, I see a lot of young people coming into this uh, business and they say, well, I'm going to give it a year. And yeah, I'm like, all right, fine. You know, I've given it 33 years. Uh, I've sacrificed a lot. You know, I, there were those mornings that, oh, oh gosh, I have no electric. <laughs> what happened? But I still went to acting class. And I still, you know, you know walked miles to, 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 to go to rehearsal. I never gave up. Because I, I love to do it. I, I love doing it each and every day. And, and, you know, I still do it each and every day. Right. You know, I learned right. from my students. Even my superstars, like this this one back here. Yeah, we're going to get to you, Valerie. You're hiding now, but I'm gonna, we're going to get to you. No, I'm not hiding anymore. I want to she's, she's on the camera. She's right behind me. There we go. Good. Now... It's, it's, I love the fact that you set that up when it comes to knowing your craft. What happened? I said, I'm glad that you brought it up when it comes to knowing your craft. Yeah. I mean, um, the craft is, is, is important. It, it is more important. I mean, 
share, I mean, uh, the core of our students are craft-based actors. They're there for, 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 for reasons. Some of my students have been with me five years since I, four or five years since I opened my, my doors. And, you know, in fact, um, I have students that I studied with 25 years ago. I mean, I started over 30 years ago, but um, I have um, a student or two, Amanda Gordon, who is, uh, you know, a student. She's also a teacher, too, here that huh? I studied yeah. acting with um, 25, 30 years ago. And she came back to study under me. So I'm starting to get students that, that I studied with years ago, years ago, coming back to um, my workshops. Now, you've been given the name Actor Whisperer. The Actor Whisperer? Yes. Can you explain that? Can you let us know how that came to be? Can I explain the Actor Whisperer? You know what it is? It's not any kind of weird thing like the dog whisper or the horse whisper or what other kind of whisper there are. You know, I, I kind of used it or use it on a lot of onset coaching. Bottom line is, um, you, when your movies cost a lot of money, and when that director yells action, you know, it could be thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars to you know, produce a movie, you know, and yeah. reality is sadly a lot of actors that are cast in some movies are just not ready. So, you know, the, when the director doesn't want to have to yell, uh, you know, cut every, 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 every minute if an actor is not prepared. So the thing is, you know, someone like me gets in their head. I mean, I, I, my technique, which, which I feel I, I develop, which probably is elsewhere, which is called triggering impulses, which is putting pictures, pounding them in their head, putting them in exactly where they have to be at that given moment. You know, here it is, Kenya. You may have had a bad day yesterday. You may have had a good day yesterday. But that has direct proportion to how you are right now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So in a movie, um, I'm in their ear giving them situations, painting images, and, but I'm putting it in their ear psychologically. So there was um, um, a reporter that came to class that was taking notes on acting teachers, and next thing I know is there was uh, an article called The Actor Whisperer in the newspaper. So that's where that came out to be. And there was a girl in um, another movie, Amada, 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 I don't know her name, Amada something or other. Amada. Is some, she's in touch, isn't she? Yes. Yeah, she started calling me the actor whisperer as well. So I'm, I'm not, Amada Anderson, yeah. You know, I'm not doing any kind of weird thing. I'm just, the reality is, you know, you, you could, paint situations in their head. You could paint pictures in their head. It's a matter of getting them in the moment. Um, some movies I, I deal with extreme professionals like Touched, Touch, the movie Touch I'm working on, which is um, a powerful psychological uh, theater uh, movie about abuse, and there's a lot of A-list actors there that are attached to that movie, and it's written by, you know, um, Alex Molina. Oh, I'm proud of the fact that he was originally one of my students. So now he wrote a very uh, powerful movie, which uh, um, stars a lot of A-lists, and including uh, starring this is a supporting supporting role with uh, Valerie Renee Campbell. It also stars Tony and Emmy Award winner um, uh, Kevin Mambo, Joseph D'Onofrio from uh, Goodfellas and Bronx Tale, who's also um, a teacher here as well with, in our school, Bobby Finaro from The Sopranos. Um, Alan May Ballard um, from NCIS, um, wow. Carl wow. Gillard from Inception, and now House and MD, Michael Nesbitt from um, Larry Crown with, with Tom Hanks, um, Gary and Joe Torrey, uh, the comedians. But um, whether, or not, whether or not I'm coaching them, I don't know, but I'm coaching the rest of the, the, the cast on set, you know, um, the rest of the, the, the cast that I'm coaching, you know, you're in a movie, 
with A-list actors, Tony and Emmy Award winners. Um, I'm putting in their ear pictures, images. I'm also telling them, look to the right or left. There's A-list actors. You've got to step up to the plate. Mm -hmm. Think Mm -hmm. like an A-list actor. Or basically, your time will be limited in this industry. So, um, and in the classroom, um, with the with the with the images that I paint, I I work with them on a on a conscious level in the classroom. It's with these triggering impulses, meaning pounding images. Um, so I work with it on a conscious level in the classroom, so they could take it to the field, like the movie set or the stage or a TV show, and, and work on it on a on a subconscious level. If that makes any sense. Not, yes, it does. Oh, good. Then explain it to me. <laughs> it really, no, I know. Okay, I'm like, it, it really does. And I actually, this is where I would like to bring Renee in. I mean, Valerie, I'm sorry. And to, to tell us what it's like to work with you or what it's like to be coached by you. I mean, you are known as Beth. And um, Valerie, if you could... When I came to John, I was looking for an acting coach that someone who not just teaches you the basics and teaches you what is acting, but John is the kind of person that he throws you into the lion's den, so to speak, and you'll start to deliver this monologue you think is so great, and then he will whisper crazy stuff in your ear. You're doing a monologue, um, you know, you could be doing a monologue about something about slavery, and then he'll whisper something in your ear like, well, you had cancer, and your husband's cheating on you, and you haven't told him yet. You just came home, you found out he's cheating on you, and now you have to tell him, you know, this, that, or the other. And we're sitting here like, what does that have to do with the monologue? Because, you know, you build in your head what you think you're going to do with it. But what we call him is a transformational (laughs) acting coach. To whisper something in your ear that has absolutely nothing to do with the monologue, and you could be doing a monologue that's kind of comedic, and he'll tell you to think about your grandmother just died or someone just kidnapped your kid. So by the time you go into the monologue, it totally transforms your performance, and it makes you look at it at a different angle so that you're able to do different things with it, which is called giving direction or giving um it's a little incentive to change what you're doing, and it makes a big difference when you're working on set. As I produce films, and I'm also working with the director to do casting, and you want someone who can take direction well. If you tell them, look, we want you now to act like a homeless person, they need to, at a drop of a dime, be able to do that, and John trains you to do that. So you find yourself at home, and you're practicing these monologues, doing a comedic monologue as a crackhead or doing your comedic monologue as a bitchy socialite, you are able to do that with any monologue, and it makes you marketable in the industry. So I'm glad that I, that, that I am here with him. I'm very glad that I'm working with someone who's able to teach me how to act through being myself, because basically I've learned that that's what acting is. You're basically being yourself and portraying a specific character through your own eyes and bringing yourself to that character. And that's what you get here. And he mixes up all the different trainings. He teaches you the Strasbourg acting method. He teaches you method acting. He teaches all these different methods um, within the confines of the classroom, but you are just mixing all of that up, and it makes you a better actor. Now, I, I, think, I can see that he transforms in you and you working with him. And you've grown, and you're now working on major productions. Can you let my listeners know a little about what you're into right now? I just finished um, a, a Broadway stage play. I've um, been in existence for about three or four years now called Love Hurt. And um, John takes um, a monologue. I think do something totally different. I'm in law school at Fordham. And I grew up in North Carolina, and my mother was an English teacher, so we were taught you don't speak slang. So, <laughs> you know, this, that was a joke in my head. So John made me do this monologue, and he made me play this little ghetto girl 
And it was weird. It was, Valerie, you sound like you're on Wall Street right now. I need for you just to go straight hood, go southeast. <laughs> you know, I was like, okay. Get Odelphia. Yeah. So I had to do that, and I just thought, okay, let me just conjure up images of people in southeast D.C., conjure up people in the south side of Chicago, Detroit, you know, of that side. So I did it. He taped it. I put it on my Facebook page. And the guy who wrote the production contacted me on Facebook. He didn't know me from Adam, but he loved what John, the couple of different things that John posted on Facebook from class. And I was hired. Um, the person that was directing the play is um, Lawrence, Lawrence um, St. Victor. He played on Guide and Light for years, and now he's doing character development workshops, and he's doing casting for Broadway stage plays. So I did love her. And then I um, was hired um, shortly thereafter to do another Broadway play called Union Women, which was based um, back in 1948 about the men who were starting this union to get the proper wages and health care and these things that they needed um, working as sharecroppers. So I was um, the girlfriend of a guy who was trying to get his, um, his own farm land, and they were going to start a union, but the men got killed once the master found out <laughs> that they were going to start this union. So the women decided to start a union, and that um, was the second um, Broadway play that I've done that will be playing at the Union Theater um, at the end of August. I have done a few movies, and now I'm starring in, um, in the movie Touch, and I'm also now producing that film. Amazing. It is truly amazing. amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. John? Yes. You clearly, you have the wisdom, know-how, and the talent to let these inspiring actors know this is what you need to do. Do you encounter people who will try to do it their own way? Um, I mean, I, I meet all kinds of people, I, I, the people that, you know, come to class, and everybody you know, people always have their own way of doing things. And, you know, I, I, in fact, just the, the other day, I have a play that um, um, is becoming a movie. It's called Hustle. You know, it's based on a woman who has a dream of being a star on Broadway, like we all do. <laughs> and she uh, takes place in the 70s. And uh, she has a, a dream of being a star on Broadway, and she's led into a life of drug stripping and prostitution. I wrote the play. The play didn't even go up, and it's it's option for film. So um, you know, we we held a a, a major uh, casting call, and um, it, it part of the um, um, you know one of the people who are interested it ha, optioned it for film is all, is my sister. Now I don't know if you know because it's not on my Facebook page, but. Uh, she is uh, my sister's Academy Award nominee um, for Best Art Direction for a documentary called My Architect back in 2003. Oh, so, um, you know, basically, I guess they're in the midst of uh, trying to see about funding and stuff. But um, we held a major casting call, and um, a young lady came in speaking about people wanting to do it their own way. And um, the, the, the woman looked perfect for the part. She, she started off her monologue. She was perfect. And um, threw in a transition, threw in, threw in an adjustment, you know, and the, and the woman said, um, why are you giving me that adjustment? It has nothing to do with my monologue. I said, to be quite frank, I'm giving you an adjustment to see if I can work with you. She goes, yeah, but that, that adjustment has nothing to do with my monologue. I says, understand this. By me giving you an adjustment and seeing how quickly you respond to my adjustment has a lot to see whether I can work with you or not. She goes, but I don't understand why you're giving me an adjustment when it has nothing to do with my monologue. I says, when I'm giving you an adjustment in the middle of, of an audition room that's costing me $65 an hour for the past seven hours, uh, you know, I have, I have two seconds to decide whether I can work with you or not on a film a film that's going to cost thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. By listening to you and see how well you can take an adjustment, I can decide in a split second whether I can work with you or not. To be quite frank, 
you know, it's not whether my monologue has anything, my adjustment has anything to do with your monologue. It's whether I can work with you or not. And it's clear right here and now that I cannot work with you. Wow. You know, wow. so sadly, you know, and, and, and she went to these, one of these big, these big colleges, you know, that, you know, pumps out actors. And, you know, the thing is, part of why I give these, these, these students quick adjustments, you know, um, is the simple fact that that's what's going to happen when they go on an audition out of the clear blue sky. Someone's going to throw in an adjustment. Me, when I throw in an adjustment on an audition, you know, I, that's how I know if I can work with an actor or not, how well they, right. they adapt right. to change on a drop of a dime. I mean, one thing I, I, I love about um, my actors is most of them are working. They are working actors. I'm very proud. Um, Valerie is, 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 is Broadway, and she's producing, and she's in movies. Um, we have stars in my classroom, people you, you, you see on television. You know, Joe, Joe D'Onofrio, who teaches here, who's been in Goodfellas and The Sopranos. Um, and now in touch, we have uh, Penoir from Family Matters and, and, and other television shows um, and other people that are on my, on my website. We have working professional actors that, that come through my workshops and people that have just started in the business. Um, we have Alfonso, who is relatively new to this industry, and he's already on his 15th under five, you know, and Jane Haggerty... Who, yeah, Jane Haggerty, who is, uh, that's what you say, under five lines. And he's right. on his 15, yes, yeah, uh, under five on Law and Order, Nurse Jackie, and, and other shows. We also have um, Dominic Mancini, who is, um, you know, uh, Life on Mars uh, with Harvey Keitel. He was on that show. You know, and my, my sister herself, who is uh, an Academy Award nominee, um, who um, is involved in my workshops, plus she's, she has her own workshops and production company as well. You know, and, and I, I, I'm one of the few acting uh, teachers that are endorsed by Meryl Streep and Kevin Klein, as well as Golden Globe, um, five or six Emmy Award winning um, people and Tony Award winning actors. So, you know, and I'd like to think that those, um, those endorsements are not for me, but more or less for my students, you know, right. people right. like Valerie and, and Jane and Alfonso to, to keep pumping and don't ever give up, you know, because if you listen to the words and those endorsements on my website, it's more for them and not right. for me, even though they mention right. my name, right. but that's nice, but it's for them. Right. But um, we do have a lot to offer here, you know, where we, 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 our doors are open a couple days a week, you know, but... Um, you know, I, I am a very demanding teacher, you know, because I'm not going to sugarcoat, um, sugarcoat your performance. Um, I'm not right for everybody. Some people have walked out of my workshops. Um, we weren't right for one another, but I'm not going to sugarcoat your performance. I'm going to tell you like it is. I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, I tell you the truth because the world out there, the industry, you know, and Valerie could tell you just like it is that they're a lot more meaner than I can ever be. Um, it's a it's a hard, 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 hard industry out there. And so the thing is, if I can tell you the truth and not sugarcoat your performance, um, I think you'll thank me later. And and I have students that have been with me for um, one, two, three, four, <coughs> five years. You know, because right. I tell them the truth. Right. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's anyway, okay. Okay. Um, you're currently looking for interns right now, so this is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for someone who's serious about their craft yeah. to be able to work with you. Can you tell us about that? I'm sorry, what was that? Can you tell us about that? The interns? The interns? Yes. yes. Well, um, you know, right now we're, we're, we're a, a small organization. We're 40, 50, 60 people. Um, we do have uh, um, Jane, who is the uh, co-artistic director, and uh, April Cates, <coughs> that um, is, is one of the assists, and, and, and Vanessa, um, 
Benson, who's, who's an assist, but we're going to actually be taking on interns. So if they are interested, um, they can check it under uh, johnpalotta.com. That's J-O-H-N-P-A-L-L-O-T-T-A.com. And they're interested, uh, you know, they should just give a call. The, the number's on the website. And uh, we are, I guess, expanding. You know, um, you know we are. Um, you know, we've, we've given a lot of um, interviews lately. We just gave Google uh, News uh, thing, and I, we have some other major uh, media outlets uh, requesting, uh, you know, interviews. So things are starting to happen. You know, I've been doing a lot of onset coaching, and um, I'm being requested, or my name has been dropped for a big um, a major motion pitcher, um, onset coach for a, a very big, very big pitcher, which um, I'll give, give the name once it gets closer and once I, I, I get more definite uh, answer from them. But things are starting to happen with our school, and I'm very happy. You know, it's, it's a wonderful uh, success that we've had over the years, and, and, and I, I look forward to, to see where we're going, you know. Well. I definitely, on behalf of everyone listening, anyone who's referring to anything, thank you so very much. You, just talking to you now has really inspired me. And, and my belief system in this is that I'm you know, wanting you to succeed in. So thank you so much. Yeah. When, when are you coming to New York? You know, it's ironic. I have family up there, so I'm going to be Where? traveling to states <laughs> in Long no, no, Island. Where? Long Island, what part? South Florida Park, well, Nassau County. Okay, that's not that far. So you know, it's like 15 minutes. So when you when yeah, you I'm come there, you, you got my digits, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, we'll all go out and drink. I mean, eat. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I mean, Both yeah. Are absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll go. We'll go out and eat. <laughs> we'll go out and eat. Anyway, I, I thank you, you know, very much for 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 you know inviting us to uh, you know do this, and um, you know look forward to uh, you know talking to you very very soon. Yes, okay. Carol. Oh, there's more. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Oh, my God. You guys are amazing. And all of my listeners, please check John Pilata out if you're interested in acting. If you are serious. Don't go if you're not serious. If you're ready to go. Uh, I'm a very rough teacher, too. <laughs> well, you know what? That's what works. Yes. He really is a sweetheart. He's not that rough. I'm not rough. <laughs> I'm not rough. I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I give you the tools you need. It's a rough, rough industry. It's, 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 it's a heart wrenching. It is, it is, uh, is 99.99 percent rejection. But the thing is, if I can give you the tools you need, get in your head, get you prepared, and, and make you into an actor, you know, we will fight. You will want to hit me, but you know what? You'll thank me because I hopefully will give you the tools you need to. To, to make it as an actor out there, hopefully. Well, I hope that they listen. I hope that they learn something, and I know that they will be kind of to you. Perfect. 